Good evening, YouTube. What's going on? It's Mesa back at it with some Destiny. Okay, I'm going to show you in this video how to get multiple Iron Lords legacies so you could pretty much buy all three artifacts every week from Tyra Karn. So if you find this video helpful in any way, shape, or form, make sure you drop a like it and share it. And the reason why I'm making this video is I got so many comments on my reset video. When you guys saw me inspect the artifacts, you were like, hey, how did you get more than one Iron Lord's legacies? Well, we're going to go through the steps, and it's super, super easy and fairly simple. So you can see here, I have two of the artifacts. I'm really waiting for Tyra to bring the one that gives you the more detailed radar and third eye at all time for your primary. I live by that, you know me, I'm a Midas scrub. I live by that thing. And I got a number of highlight artifacts from Eris Morn and also from some of the Horde chests. I'm gonna link and annotate a video on screen that tells you how I basically got all of my high-end gear, particularly the artifacts. So now it's real simple, have three characters and at reset on all characters, Tyra is going to have a new quest for you each week at reset. Here's what I don't know just yet. Is it a different quest every week? I don't know because I don't remember what the quest was from week one. So here you're looking at the quest right now. And it's a really simple one. It's perform noble deeds within the plague lands. So what does that mean? That means basically you got to go around and kill a lot of things and do a lot of things in the plague lands. That be it patrol, that be it kill things and just all sorts of stuff. But the simplest way is Archon's Forge, Archon's Forge, and Archon's Forge, okay? It took me roughly, I'd say about a half hour, if you're lucky. And I say if you're lucky, that means when the cavalry arrives. Here's what I find with Archon's Forge, and I'm gonna do a separate video on the loot drops and everything because I feel like Archon's Forge is a little bugged right now. I mean, there's sometimes where I put in a perfected one and I get nothing. And then I put in a 320 fused one and I got something like 370 something. Sometimes the weapons have been 365. Sometimes the armor and class items have been 372. It's just really bugged. However, what you wanna do is go to Archon's Forge, no matter what kind of offering you have and put it in. You'll notice, I don't, and I don't know if it's because people see you there. I don't think it, that that's what it is. I think what happens is you put it in, and then whoever is currently doing Archon's Forge, all of a sudden you see the cavalry arrive. You see a ton of people all of a sudden killing the boss with you. Now you're then in Archon's Forge with a whole bunch of people. Then once you're doing it, everyone else, once you complete one, they just start popping them in one after the other. But I say you got to be lucky because there was some times where... I, I did one, see, I just completed the quest right there. I did what, well, I popped it. There was one other guy there, he had one, he popped it in, and then no cavalry arrived. But then on my warlock, uh, everybody was there. I knocked it out in like easily 30 minutes because you're just killing things. But I, I did test it out a little bit. I think like a patrol, uh, I did one of the VIP patrols and that gave, I think only like 10% of the 100% you need to uh, have the noble deeds quest completed. And that's the entire quest. Once you finish, you go back, she gives you your Iron Lord's legacy. So now I said in the beginning, I don't know if it's a different quest every week. I just know that I did a little research I found on Reddit. They said that she gives you a quest every week and this week it's the Noble Deeds. So if you're watching this video, go get it and then go to Archon's Forge and just grind it out as much as possible. Pray that the cavalry arrives and get lucky. Like I said, on my Warlock, I knocked it out really quick. In fact, you know, it was less than 30 minutes. It was maybe like 20 minutes. But on my Titan, I struggled a little bit. I was doing it by myself. A few people showed up. Then I had to call in my own cavalry, my friends mugwam and ninja rocks are to come in and help me out so anyway that's it guys so um, we need to figure out is it a different quest every week i don't know just yet because i don't remember what the week one quest was to get it so let me know in the comment section and i'll update the comment section and the description also if the quest changes every week i actually hope it does it'll make it a little bit more interesting but doing this i can buy all three artifacts i could have bought four today actually because last week i had three of these and i only bought did I buy two of them? No, I bought one of them, I think. I don't know. I'm in babble mode. You know what that means? End of the video. Drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Twitter at MaceSean. Check out my stream. Usually and actually, it's always on YouTube. That's it. I'm out of here like Vladimir.